Many Lightroom users also use Adobe Photoshop. The two programs can work hand in hand. Lightroom is great for organizing images and making basic corrections, while Photoshop has advanced tools for repairing problems and compositing. Because both are included in the Adobe Creative Cloud plans, we recommend installing Perfectly Clear for both Photoshop and Lightroom. You may have bought a bundle that included both plugins. If not, download and install the Photoshop plugin demo from our website. If you decide you like this workflow, just contact our customer support for an upgrade discount. The Perfectly Clear plugin experience is essentially the same in both Lightroom and Photoshop. What's different is how the plugin is applied to the image and what file is saved. When you run plugins in Lightroom, the filters are applied and their results are saved permanently in a new image. With Photoshop, however, the results can be applied in a more flexible manner using smart filters. Perfectly Clear and Adobe Photoshop are designed to work together seamlessly. With Perfectly Clear, you can choose to work non-destructively in Photoshop and make changes at any time. While not every company's filters work this way, we want to give professional users the control they want and need. Select an image in your Lightroom library that you want to send to Photoshop. Choose Photo, Edit In, Open in Photoshop as Smart Object. This will take the selected file or raw image and send it to Adobe Photoshop. Any adjustments you've already applied in Lightroom will travel with the image. A new Photoshop document opens and the selected image is set to a Photoshop layer. The layer is already a smart object, which means you can make non-destructive adjustments using the original full quality file, but any changes will be saved to the new Photoshop document. For example, you can double click on the layers icon to open a RAW file into the Adobe Camera Raw dialog box. This lets you add any adjustments, such as upright adjustments, that you might have forgotten in Lightroom. Click OK to save the changes. To apply perfectly clear, make sure you have the Images tab selected. Then, check that its layer is highlighted in the Layers panel and choose Filter, Athentech Imaging, Perfectly Clear Version 2. The Perfectly Clear window opens and the software goes to work immediately, automatically correcting your photo. By default, the Details preset is applied to your image. You can now use the Perfectly Clear presets or controls to create the exact image you want. These controls are identical to what's been covered in other Lightroom tutorials. What's different is what happens when you click OK. You'll notice that the Perfectly Clear plugin is applied as a smart filter. In the Layers panel, you'll see that the filter has been applied. Let's open it back up. Double-click the filter name in the Layers panel. Doing so reopens the Perfectly Clear interface. You'll see that the same presets and slider positions are loaded from the last time the filter was run on this layer. Feel free to make changes to the filter. The original image is updated as if you were starting from scratch, but your save settings mean you pick up where you left off before. When satisfied, click the OK button. Now, let's return the file to your Lightroom library. Simply close the file and save your changes. The PSD file Photoshop's native file type, or TIFF file, is automatically added into Lightroom. You can use the Develop module or any of Lightroom's other tools to modify the image. To control what type of file is created, open your Lightroom Preferences and click the External Editing tab. Either TIFF or PSD files are compatible with a Smart Object workflow. If you want to modify the Smart Object, that's easy. Just select the TIFF or PSD file in your library it'll be stacked with the original image. To invoke the edit command, just press Command-E on a Mac or Control-E on a PC. You can now choose to edit an original to modify the smart object. The layered file opens in Photoshop and you'll see the perfectly clear smart filter. You can now double click the photo to edit the camera raw settings. You can also double click the smart filter to open perfectly clear and refine your image. When finished, click OK, and then close and save your file. It will now update in your Lightroom library. With smart filters, the ability to adjust whenever you need to is an essential feature in the Photoshop version of the filter. When combined with the teamwork between Lightroom and Photoshop, you get a great workflow that keeps your images organized, but gives you even more flexibility when editing photos. For more on smart objects, be sure to watch the video called The Professional Smart Filter Workflow on our YouTube channel. 
Be sure to watch the rest of our videos to understand all of your options. Thanks for watching.